morning. This is Saurabh from Stanley Medical College and I welcome you all on behalf of Team Amal. Everyone sets goals in life and the United Nations has set the Millennium Development Goals for the world to be achieved by 2015. Out of the eight Millennium Development Goals, the three Millennium Development Goals relate directly to health. Of these, infant mortality and maternal mortality happen to be watchwords worldwide. What makes delivering health in a country like India so tough? Basically, there are two constraints. In India, we have extreme limitations of skilled manpower. When we say India lives in its villages, we just have 0.6 doctors per 1000 villagers in India. Before we go to the second constraint, I will show you an interesting list. Yes, this is the list of the seven countries which happen to be the world's poorest countries according to the UNDP report 2007. We add one more country to the list and yes that is India and these become the only eight countries in the world which spend less than 1% of their GDP for public health. The second constraint is we have got no money. Not that this gap is identified for the first time. It was identified decades ago in 1970s when Srivastava committee reported that we really need to have a bottom up approach wherein the teachers and postmen were asked to deliver health to the community. The skill gap was enormous and in order to bridge that gap, introducing Amrita, the health at your doorstep technology. So Amrita is a low cost handheld device with an embedded disease diagnosis and treatment software. The software is based upon the established protocols developed by international organizations like WHO or UNICEF or in our country, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The gadget has a simple design and so it can be operated by a non-medical or a paramedical person and to begin with we target the care of the antenatal mother and the child under the age of 5. In India we got public health hierarchy wherein we got a district with blocks each having primary health centers and each health center having sub centers. Each sub center employs two health workers so basically we got 4000 people that each health worker has to serve. When we introduce Amrita into the picture, the, we empower the accredited social health activists to deliver quality health care. We literally improve this ratio to 1 is to 1000 and increase the coverage 4 times. Now let's see how the gadget works. Let's take an example of Fatima who is a 2 month year old girl, suffers from diarrhea for 14 days now. For her mother walks on daily wages, she hasn't been able to transport her child all the way miles away to the PNC. Now on knowing that there is a gadget Amrita placed next to her lane, she goes to the Asha. Asha feeds her name and age into the gadget. Knowing that the child is less than 2 months of age, the gadget directs the child to an appropriate protocol. Questions like if there was diarrhea for more than 14 days or blood in stools pop out and a negative answer to them would mean there is no persistent diarrhea or no dysentery. Sunken eyes are looked for, a skin pinch is performed and a printed slip comes out of the gadget. With the medical background that I hold, I assure you that the slip is no less than a life saving prescription. Whether referral is needed or not or an antibiotic will do or none, the gadget decides on the spot. The product that we are marketing is the gadget Amrita come the training of its operators and the maintenance and the retrieval of the data. We invest for the gadget, for the training and for the maintenance. Our market is 30 potential customers in India, the central government, national rural health mission and the NGOs. The private sector can open satellite centers in the villages. WHO and UNICEF happens to be the international agencies and it could scale up to them also. Basically, the health worker is the end user of the gadget and the people in the villages are the benefiters, they are the consumers. Amrita ended up the runners-up at the IIT Madras Tech Fest Shastra 2009. It is a finalist to I2I IIM Kolkata entrepreneurship event. The best part being that the public health expertise we have been in touch with is really excited about the gadget and the National Rural Health Mission is looking towards the gadget with full interest. The five month long pilot is going to take off this January under the assurance from the Tamil Nadu government. Basically delivering technology in public health has been our dream but to find out that compatible mode through which we could really deliver it was a million dollar question. I believe Amrita answers all those questions beyond doubt. With my team Amrita I look forward to a revolution in public health.